everyone, welcome to the FGC Wrap Up, where I go over all the fighting game news that happened last week. Starting off this week, Street Fighter V had an update, or patch, or what, it, it's adjustment. It wasn't that much that happened. Really, all that happened is Luke got some nerfs and then a couple other small adjustments to some of the characters. Nothing crazy, um, however, it did get everyone really excited, um, and a lot of Luke fans kind of bummed out. <laughs> While we're talking about Street Fighter V, uh, we actually have some new numbers about sales that have been sold. I'm going to check my thing right here quick to make sure I got this correct. Yep, and it is sold 6.2 million copies. That's Street Fighter five that is a point one away from tying for first place is the best-selling fighting game of all time uh, or at least for Capcom that's going to be beating the original Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo uh, do I think this is gonna happen 100% Street Fighter 5 is still pretty early within its lifetime and I'm pretty sure it's gonna surpass it however this is kind of crazy we don't see big numbers like this or uh, passings of games like this very often so it's uh, pretty cool to see Tekken 2 is going to be coming to PlayStation Plus, which is kind of cool. Uh, you don't really see a lot of the retro uh, fighting games, especially the 3D retro games, get some love. So uh, hopefully we get to see more. Maybe Tekken 3 will get added, which will put a lot of people into a very happy space. Team Southtown has officially arrived in King of Fighters 15, along with a balance patch, which is very exciting. Billy Kane, Ryuji, and Geese Howard have been added into the game. I have been trying out Geese, so really fun. And uh, the balance patch, I'm very happy because Vanessa finally got nerfed. The character that I had the most problems with has been uh, not nerfed to the ground, but she's more uh, easy to deal with, as I could. I would say that easy to deal with but uh yeah so far i'm excited that uh king of fighters currently is at its uh, end of dlc that we're aware of so i uh, look forward to some hopefully some news maybe a combo breaker next week uh we'll maybe get a trailer at the end of the kof tournament who knows DNF Duel announced their story mode and training mode or practice mode. The story mode is akin to the old school Dungeon Fighter Online story, so they're going to do something similar to that. They did something very wonderful in the Grand Blue game, so hopefully Arc Systems can put that love and uh, dedication they did there along with this game. <sighs> okay, this is another leak territory thing, but it literally took over the internet for a couple days this week. I thought I got to go over Ed Boon tweeted again, and uh, it was referencing Injustice 2 is now in its five-year anniversary, which is crazy. My all-time favorite game is five years old. Um, but I'm just going to read the tweet here and let you guys figure out what you want to say or think about it yourself, because... Uh, I don't, I'm, I just, I'm trying not to get hyped up over something that may not happen. So this is what he has to say. We really appreciate that two of our games have anticipation for future installments and wish we could be everything everywhere all at once. But someone would have to give us the keys to the multiverse first. He then goes on in a, uh, right under that tweet saying, yeah, that was kind of unintentionally cryptic. I was basically saying that at the moment, we can't work on every game. We'd like to make all at the same time. Did respond to some of his comments in this tweet, which one of them was, we just want a new MK game. And he said, no, that's just what you want. Which once again, throws this question up into an air. Like this idea makes it seem like, uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing Injustice. We're going to be doing MK or we're not doing either of them. We're doing something completely different. So uh, I'm not putting any merit in any of this. And I'm just going to fingers crossed we get something whatever it is. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl's team has come out and asked kindly to stop saying it's the Smash Killer, because it's not. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here <clears throat> and uh, get on my uh, soapbox a little bit. We do need to stop saying that. Um, this happens with not just platform fighters, but in any genre of fighting games. Just because one game is similar to another does not mean it's going to be the killer of any game. It only hurts the game that's coming out. And honestly, it hurts the Smash community as well. It makes them look really, like picky and they need to have exactly the smash game if they want just the smash game they can go play smash uh rivals of Vether, nickelodeon all-star brawl brawlhalla um and multiverses that's coming out shortly are all trying to do something different you should not be going in there thinking you're playing smash bros it's a different game so when you say smash killer it just hurts not only the smash community but also hurts these new communities as well so as a community let's stop saying it it's just it's Bad press, man. It's bad press. And speaking of multiverses, they dropped a killer trailer the other day, which uh, is a cinematic which we hope to see many more going into the future. Uh, they showcased a bunch of characters we've already seen, along with the Tasmanian Devil and the Iron Giant, which made me lose my mind when I saw that. Very excited to see him just anywhere again. Um, I did... Uh, get one of the beta keys or alpha keys. Uh, I have been playing it for a while now. I um, played uh, quite a bit of Harley Quinn. She's a character I like the most, and I 
it's fun, man. Um, I've been playing Strictly Duos, and I've had more fun with this than um, some other fighting games over the last year. So uh, I can't wait for this game to go full launch, and especially with it being free to play, I don't know what's in store for it. But from what I'm playing so far, I think we have a winner on our hands. I try to cover everything this week, but if I miss something, make sure you at me on Twitter. I'll try to cover it in next week's video as well. And the FGC Tech Dive video of the week is I'm going to shout out my girl Sharpie. Sharpie is actually one of the leaders within the multiverse community right now, and actually she's being put as the face of it. She actually uh, did a tweet the other day where they actually uh, uh, admitted that they are a Sharpie stan. I just want you to make sure you, if you're not following Sharpie, make sure you go follow her and let's give her some love because I'm super proud of her. And that's going to do it for this week. For those who don't know, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Sunday. Come and hang out. I also have an FGC TikTok account you totally should be following. If you liked the video today, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Phil, and of course, I'll talk to you guys soon.